Good morning everyone, how are we all doing? It is bright and early, it is literally 6.30 in the morning. I am already showered, um, I didn't wash my hair because I do not need to wash my hair, I have to put my hair um, up, but I am showered and I'm going to start getting ready for a very very exciting day that I cannot tell you guys about it. And I know it is very very annoying, but I am doing a photo shoot today that unfortunately I cannot tell you guys anything about it. I have never ever in my career of uh, being an influencer, YouTuber, um, whatever you want to call it, um, I have never done a photo shoot like this and I'm extremely nervous but at the same time I am extremely excited because it's with a company that I really really like. Um, and I know how annoying it is that I can't tell you guys anything about it um, But just know that I'm very excited. I'm very much looking forward to it If actually you watched my previous video or I'm not sure if it was at the beginning of this video uh, I think it was the previous video When was it? I do not even remember. I think it was two videos ago. I, I'm not sure at one point in my recent uh, vlogs I mentioned that I'm waiting for a call and I was very anxious and then when I got the call It was not a yes, but it was not a no either um, and uh, The next day I got the email that it's a yes and they have no idea how excited I was and unfortunately I didn't have my camera with me to record my reaction um, So yeah, I was actually where was I I was at the sushi restaurant when I got the call um, and um, I was very excited. I was trying to when I was on the call. I was trying to be like very professional and very like um, Just polite. Thank you so much for the opportunity looking forward to it But when I hung up the phone like I was doing this little dance um, Anyway, I'm very very excited about it. But again, I'm so sorry, but fortunately I can't say anything about it um, But yeah, we're going on a photo shoot and I'm a little bit nervous because as I mentioned I have not ever done a photo shoot like this this is like a professional photo shoot with an entire crew and <laughs> am i nervous 110 percent but i know the team i know they're like nice people i have never met the team in person um but i've been talking to them for months and uh, i'm looking forward to it i know i'm going to be totally okay it's just again i have never done such a thing ever in my career i'm just a tad bit nervous um the good news is that the photo shoot uh place is not too far from me it's like 15 to 20 minutes um away from me and the photo shoot is at going to be at 10 a.m but i don't want to risk it i'm going to leave the house around the 9 15 just to make sure i have parking and all of that um so i woke up super early um so i can shower i have to have my hair up so i'm going to put it in a sleek bun uh, by the way i have this under eye patches that they are cooling they are extremely cooling like i love it like for days like today and i'm also um using my eye stroller because you would think because i have a photo shoot yesterday i didn't eat salt or i didn't eat heavy food no 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 i did i had sushi for um for lunch and i had way too much soy sauce and i had pasta um for dinner so yeah i was i guess very excited about today and i woke up extremely puffy so now i am trying to calm the puff down a little bit uh, with my eye stroller and to be honest with you this feels absolutely amazing because when I get nervous I start having like hot flashes and it, like my body gets warm and I just took the warmest shower um, as well because it's just illegal for me to take a shower that is like just a tad bit like I don't know room temperature or cold I need to have like a very very warm shower so um I did that and now I'm extremely hot so this feels amazing especially on my rosacea which by the way it is doing so much better compared to the last two weeks it is nowhere where I want it to be but it is doing um, so much better so now I am going to continue rolling my face for another five minutes and then I'm going to apply my tit whitening um, stripes strips strips 
um, strips and then I'm going to do my makeup it's a light makeup nothing heavy um, and then basically like my base makeup um, and then I'm going to um, lather my face in the summer Friday jet lag mask and let it soak in before I um, do my makeup I did this last night as well and I slept in it and my makeup always looks good when I have like a heavy layer of uh, moisturizer I was gonna use the one that everybody uses um, what is it called why do I not remember Embryolis, that one but um, I don't have it so I need to go buy that because everybody stores by it. I mean, I'm very happy with this one, but I feel like underneath the makeup, um, all the makeup artists swear by that one. So so the concept is basically that you saturate your uh, face with the moisturizer so much that it fills in your pores. So when you apply your makeup, it just goes on really, really smoothly. And right now that I have a lot of texture because of my rosacea, I obviously need the hydration. So, so when the... Um, foundation goes on top it is super smooth um i am rambling on and i'm a little bit nervous so uh let me go get ready and then i'll show you guys my outfit before i head out uh, i have no idea what i'm going to wear it truly doesn't matter what i'm going to wear but um i want to show up to set looking cute i'm also going to lunch um afterwards so i want to look cute because i'm not gonna have time to come home and then go to lunch so i want to look cute for both of it pretty much uh, my words are not wording so let's just go get ready i know i look like a ballerina but this is the actual look that is needed um and my hair is in a bun and i put one of those i have no idea even if you can see it one of those ponytail accessories it is not important the back of my Hair is really, really not important. It's just important for me to have my hair away from my face, which is the case right now. And I just did a very light makeup, just like everyday makeup. Uh, actually, let me check my phone. Let's see how long it is going to take me to get there. Um, okay, the traffic is bad. Okay, 25 minutes, that's not bad. That is not bad, so let's start driving. Let me actually put you guys down here. This is the best angle, no, but this is the best that we can do right now. I always feel so awkward when people are, especially our neighbors, are looking at me while I'm vlogging, and our neighbor with her mom just passed by and then. Um, like she smiled at me and then I awkwardly continued talking now I did say hi to them uh, while I was exiting the building so do not think that I was being rude I already said hi to them I just she looked at me smiling like I don't know what she meant anyway um, we're going to oh my god my memory is full give me one second have the tolerance for that okay this is so much better i legitimately couldn't see in front of me um i am going to um listen to my podcast while i am driving there i'm actually listening to i think i've mentioned this before but one of my favorite things is to um listen to a good uplifting podcast when i'm getting ready in the morning so this morning as i was doing my makeup i was listening to Ariana Hewitt's uh, podcast um, the podcast I'll link it for you guys it is all about 10 habits that um, she adopted in her life that makes a huge difference in her overall wellness um, mental health and physical health as well um, and I always said the mental health and physical health are like literally attached to each other you cannot have one without the other um, so you need to be on top of both of them pretty much um, and am I going the correct way? yes I am I have been to downtown many many times obviously like I've driven to downtown a lot and I don't know why I think because I'm nervous I for a second I thought I'm going the wrong way even though I have my um, navigation on anyway um, why is the weather like this it's cloudy a second and then like sunny the next second 
this is very very weird weather um so yeah i love listening to a podcast when i'm getting ready and i didn't finish it as i was getting ready so i'm going to listen to it now and i brought the remaining of my coffee because i didn't finish it um i have it with me it's, this is not an iced coffee but i only have these two cups i need to actually stop by home goods to get like fall themed um to go cups because those are my favorite um you guys know i love everything that is just a tad bit seasonal i usually get them on for spring winter during winter they have the most beautiful christmasy ones if you want to incorporate a season in your daily life um i like doing little things like that i hope that makes sense anyway i'm going to listen to my podcast when i shop my coffee which is not a nice thing to do after you just had a teeth whitening Things. that's why I have a straw so I can just try to avoid it touching my teeth but I feel like I need like a fun beverage and to me coffee is always the most fun beverage sometimes I'm super extroverted I want to be around people I want to talk I want to chat and then all of a sudden my social battery is like drained just got here and I have never been to this part of downtown and I have no idea where I am. I really hope that I'm at the right place. I think that's the building that I'm supposed to go. Sorry, I don't want to film other people, but like there's somebody sitting there. So I think that's the building I need to go. I am very, very, very nervous, um, but I'm sure everything will be okay. Okay, my bag, my phone, that is it. Okay, let's go. I am done and that was so quick and easy and Oh, like I can't tell you how like it's important. Let me get out of here. Ooh, sun is sunning. Um, obviously, I couldn't record anything. Maybe um, in an upcoming weeks when I come in, I can record behind the scenes. But technically, I can't. Uh, but um, this is the thing that I have to. It's a continuous series. It is not only one um, shoot. Um, so maybe when I come next time, I'll be a little more comfortable to vlog. But this is, this was my first time meeting all these people in real life, and my photographer was absolutely amazing, like absolutely amazing. And I think that makes a huge difference. Why am I so dark? Oh my god, why am I so out of breath? Um, it makes a huge difference um, in how comfortable you are in front of camera. So. That was super quick, easy, and all of that. Um, I am now, oh my God, I'm out of breath. Um, it's not that I was holding my breath while I was there, but um, I literally told myself, just be yourself, be comfortable, and just do as you're told. And she was very nice guiding me through it. Oh God, what is that? Is it inside my car? Oh no, it's outside of my car. Um, she was my photographer, I mean, there were, two people um it was a lady and a gentleman the gentleman was mostly doing the behind the scenes stuff but uh the lady was like giving me direction and stuff like that and um it was absolutely amazing and i'm so happy that i agreed to do this because this is something that i know again this is very annoying that i'm not <laughs> telling you guys what i'm doing but just to talk about the concept of the fact that I used to be so scared of putting myself in positions like this. Either I was self-conscious or like I didn't think I can pull it off. Sorry, it's hot. Let me turn on my car. Um, in a sense of that, oh, I'll be good. Am I going to be good enough? Am I not going to disappoint them? You know what I mean? And when this opportunity came along, I was like, listen, I want this so badly. So let's just make it work. And they're like, sure we'll make it like it's not that it wasn't like, if you guys remember i mentioned oh my god i'm having a verbal diarrhea um if you guys remember i've mentioned like a couple of vlogs ago and also this morning that um i didn't get a def definite definitely a yes and that is only because i personally had certain requirement when it comes to the photo shoot and um that's why it was not a definite yes because obviously they had to think about it and all of that and i'm so happy that they agreed and they're like we want to do something that you'll be comfortable and all of that anyway i am rambling on um i am uh done earlier than what i expected to be done so i think i'm actually gonna go home 
um, and do a little bit of work because if I go to our lunch place now, that would be too early. Um, and the lunch place is by my house. So I'm just gonna go home, do a little bit of work, and then go to lunch. Yeah, that would be a better thing. Uh, but anyway, I'm just so happy and I, I'm gonna say very, very grateful for the opportunity and I'm so happy that I agreed to do it and I'm so happy that they agreed with the terms and conditions and I mean, it was nothing like drastic, like don't think of it like I was being a diva. No, it was not anything like that. But um, just, I'm very happy that I got this opportunity and I didn't say no to it because of um, my self-doubt and this proved to me that if I put my mind into it I'll actually can do it in the best way possible because I just had the loveliest interaction the loveliest conversation and all of that um, so yeah very very happy with this and um, obviously as I mentioned this is going to be like series it's not just a one-time thing um, I think I have three photo shoots in total and I'm very much looking forward to it. So yeah, that is that now. Without me rambling on even more, let's um, head home. Who's texting me? Let's head home so I can work a little bit and then head to lunch. I got home to a few packages, so instead of actually working, I thought it would be a great idea for me to unpack these items with you guys because one of them is a very, let me cover my address, exciting package from ASOS. Um, I ordered this, to be honest with you, probably 10 days ago. I do not remember what's in there. I remember one gown is in there, but the rest I do not remember. Why is this car so noisy? But anyway, we're gonna get into this. So actually, should I start with the other ones? No, let's start with the ASOS one because I'm actually very, very excited about this. Um, obviously I have not even opened anything up and I have uh, no clue what's in it, I do not remember um, but let's just open them up and see what's actually is in there ooh, this is a cute dress oh, this is very very mini this is a black um, halter neck dress with like a little bit of lace detail um, it is a little bit poofy, like a corset style, a little bit poofy. This is from a brand called Morsi. I have no idea how to pronounce that and I got this in a size US 10. Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Yeah, this will probably not fit me in the waistline. I don't know. Uh, we'll try it on, uh, try it out and we will see. Ooh, I remember this. This is a very cute um, cardigan, gray cardigan with very cute white bows on it. Look how adorable is this? I really, really like it. Can you DIY these? 110%, but it was just easier to get it. And I got this in a size large. This is so cute and adorable. The thing with the gray is that I have no idea how am I... Sure, sir. Um, I have no idea how am I supposed to style it because I am only comfortable wearing gray with white pretty much. Like, I don't think it goes with anything else. Um, so if you guys have any other tip, um, like any other color, color suggestion for styling gray, uh, please let me know. Um, then I got this little cute vest that I have this pattern in a long sleeve and I absolutely love it. So I just wanted something that I can wear on its own um, because the weather is still hot here. But when at nighttime I go out, I want just a little bit of a thicker layer. I can wear this and during winter I can layer this with um, white button down. And that was the whole idea behind it. This is from a brand called... Emoi Park There we go, and I got it in a size large. It's very very cute. Um, I know this pattern is not for everybody uh, Last year, I remember somebody made a comment on I don't remember was it my YouTube video or it was on um, My Instagram that this reminds um, reminds them of 
off of their grandparents um, sweaters and you know what I'm not gonna take an offense to that I think it's super cute um, so we're gonna try that out and then we have this pink sweater oh this is very cute but this is very 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 thick so it's like a cropped uh, pink sweater long sleeve it's like a cable knit sweater oh my god this is so soft is this top shop yeah it is top shop and i got the size us 8 through 10 and oh my god this is so cute you can not only wear it like wear it you can also do this with it which i really really like um, I don't know what it is. I'm very into pink, even though pink is not like a very fallish color, but I really, really like it. And this must be the gown. And you will think that I have specific events that I'm going to that I need a gown, but that is not the case. I just, I mean, it's not a gown, it's like a maxi dress. I just saw this and I was like, it's a unique design. Let me buy it and it was not that expensive. It was below $100. Um, so this is not gonna do it justice. I have to actually wear it, but it is from a brand called, oh, it's actually ASOS own brand. And I got it in US 12. It's pretty much a bodycon black maxi dress with like an interesting leather insert. So I thought this could be a cute like evening gown if a opportunity came up for me to wear a gown i think this is very cute and unique so um that's the reason behind it it's not for a specific event that is everything in my asos package but before i try the items on i'm actually going to open up these two pr packages with you guys as well so the first one is from uh, lost it Town. i hope i'm saying the name of the brand correctly and this is in a collaboration with maryland Oh my god, this is so cute. We love you, Blair. This is so good. Thank you so much for all those who don't love. As a token of our appreciation, we partnered with Marland Bakus. I probably am butchering that name. I apologize. Um, to design this unique purse charm so you can bring your almond hand cream whenever you go in style. Oh my god, that's so cool. Um, here is the brand name better. Um, so they sent me their iconic shower gel, which I am absolutely obsessed with. This is what I use every single day in the shower. Um, I use my Chanel one um, as well, but this is like my go-to, especially if I'm shaving. I absolutely love this because it's so hydrating. And they also included their... Why am I having a hard time understanding what this is? Oh, it's actually almond oil. So this one, you're going to use it in the shower, and this is... Um, the second duo if you want super hydrated skin um the fact that it says soapless on it kind of like threw me off i thought it's like a one of those oils that you use it in the shower i have never tried this product product and i love the packaging it's glass i really really like it. it's like so luxurious and let's get into the actual um collaboration pouch which is wrapped in Oh my god, this is so adorable. This is so cute. It has a heart. Oh my god, these are so pretty. Oh my god, this flower. How cute is this? And obviously, um, the um, almond hand cream is in there too. This is so cute and adorable. And obviously, you can customize this however you want. It has... Um, the thing for you to take out whatever you don't want from there um, This is so cute and adorable What is this? Oh, it's just a design it has like a green stone in the shape of the heart it has um, This shape these are so cute oh my god this heart is so adorable there's so many charms on it but obviously you can take out whatever you do not want i believe yeah but this is so cute and adorable thank you so much to the lost upon team and the next item actually um i need knife give me one second so this package is from noteworthy and i was to be honest with you very unfam unfamiliar with this brand until Actually, my manager is obsessed with them. One time um, she brought out this black 
uh, perfume thing and she's like oh my god it's my absolute favorite can you help me find something very similar to it because if you guys don't know one of my favorite hobbies in the entire world is um, scents candle scents perfume scents mixing scents um, body shower scents just scents overall are my, are my favorite thing and she was like and I'm very good at determining like what like the notes of a scent and when she gave it to me and I told her and have this in mind I have never ever heard of this brand or that perfume as soon as I smelled it I told her exactly what's in it and she looked it up and I was very much correct I think there was one additional thing that I didn't mention um in that um like when i was mentioning like what's in there i think there was only one item that i was missing but all the other ones i was very much on point and then that was the last of that conversation i we did not talk about it i found a do puff that for her and then a few weeks later i got a i got an email from the same brand and i was like so shocked i was like how how did this happen that I have never ever heard of this brand and as soon as you talk to me about it this email came through but basically they were like just take a quiz online and we'll send you like a discovery kit and that's what I did I took a quiz online and based off of the answers that I gave they sent me four samples of their um, like perfumes so the first one is number 551 and this is notes of lilia valley amber and sandalwood and i think this is the one that my uh, manager is obsessed with there's very teeny tiny amount of it in there so i'm just going to spray just a tad bit so i can actually get to use it and see how long it lasts on me Ooh, yeah this is the one that manager my manager likes oh this smells absolutely amazing um, since I do not like to smell like her, I'll give that to her actually so she can put it in her purse This one is number 866, which is bergamot vetiver and tonka I am very bad at pronouncing things. So let's see how this one smells Ooh, This is good It's a little bit masculine Oh, this is good. I really really like this. Okay, that's that and then the next one is 144. This has citrus note uh, Lemon blossom and vanilla. That's such an interesting mix it Smells incredible it smells like something But I can't pinpoint what Okay, this smells incredible, but the vanilla is a little bit too overpowering for me. So, um, but it doesn't smell bad. Um, that's a really good one too. I'm so impressed by the sense of, um, like, by the smell of this scent. Smell of this scent? Is that even correct English? Who knows? Um, then this one is 619, which has juniper. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce this, but this is what's in this one. Uh, Geranolum suede. I don't know how you would put suede in there, but let's see. Oh, this one's a little bit masculine too, but I like it. Oh, these are all, these all smell very, very interesting. And like, they don't smell like anything that I already have in my collection. Actually, my goal is to finish my perfumes, all of my perfumes, as soon as possible so I can buy new perfume. I know I just recently got one Baccarat Rouge one, but I feel like I'm at this stage of my life that I want to revamp all of my perfumes because most of these perfumes, I've been wearing them for the past three, four years. And I feel like I want to change it up, but obviously these are all like pretty expensive perfumes, so I don't want them to go to waste. Um, so I am using and abusing them every single day so I can finish them up as soon as possible and get new perfume I just don't want to buy more when I already have these so Yeah, oh my god, these are like they, they smell absolutely amazing um, This one as I mentioned, I'll give it to my manager, but the other ones I'll test them out like every day I'll wear one of them and I will test out the longevity of things like longevity of the perfume and also 
very important factor is that um, if they will give me a headache or not because as much as perfumes smell amazing some perfumes they give me a really bad headache they don't just get along with your hormones so i'll let you guys know which one from all the other three is my favorite and then i can put an order for the full size one uh, but now actually let's get into the asos try on haul because i'm very excited to see how this item will look on me how cute and adorable is this sweater i really really like it i love the fit i love the length and it is not scratchy which is very very important when it comes to like sweaters like this like fuzzy sweaters i I'm absolutely like obsessed with it. It is so soft and um, I think this will look very cute for like layering purposes as well. Like one of those fake colors. I think that will be very cute or if you live somewhere that is really, really cold and you need to actually layer, um, you can wear like an Oxford shirt underneath and I love everything about this. I think you can wear this casually or dressed up. You can wear it with white jeans, obviously blue jeans um i think this will look very very cute with the lace um not lace the satin skirt that i have that has lace underneath i think that will be very cute like if you want to dress it up i think it will look very cute with one of those like fake colors as i mentioned um so just so many different ways that you can wear it and i'm very very happy that it is not itchy because it's very important when it comes to um sweaters i don't want to buy a sweater like that i have to wear like a shirt underneath because i don't like um how it feels on my skin uh but that is not the case with this one it is very very soft and i love 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 the feet of it and obviously the color is absolute perfection how cute and adorable is this i absolutely love it for sure i'm keeping it i love the fit of it love the color love the neckline like everything about it i absolutely love the only thing is that now that i now that i am wearing it um if i wear like a white shirt and i want to layer this with it would that look weird because this already has a color i don't think i have ever layered a vest that has a color with um, a shirt so that would be interesting i have to give that a try and see if that will work um like that way uh because the buttons i can open it up and lay it like this i think it will work out um but this is so cute and adorable and it's perfect for this weather because it's not too thick but you know when nighttime you're going out you want a little bit of a thicker layer this will work fantastically and i absolutely love the pattern of it as well it is very very cute but you know what it is i don't think i'm going to get a wear out of this because it's just as as much as i like the idea of it but i do not like it on me um maybe it's the color maybe it's the bows maybe it's the placement of the bows i wish the bows were like a little bit closer like um, to the buttons like this area um, and it is very very soft great quality but yeah I just don't like the fit of it on me so um, this will go back actually this dress is so cute and adorable and it does fit me even though it's a size 10 it actually fits me very very nicely but unfortunately I feel like this is a little, little bit too short and I'm not going to be as comfortable. I mean, the front is not that short and the back is not that short. As you guys can see, like the sides go a little bit too high up. And I don't know. But look how cute and adorable is this. The girls are girling. And also this section looks like that I have my bra out. And I personally don't like that look, even though I know it's very much on trend now i see a lot of tops on revolve with this design and i don't know it's definitely something out of my comfort zone um but okay i need to ask opinions on this dress and then make a decision if i want to keep it or i am returning it i kind of like it but i don't know i feel like it's different in a sense of that i don't wear most of the times i don't wear like sexy dresses and i feel like this is very sexy you know what i mean so okay i'll let you guys know if i decide to keep this or i am returning it this is the maxi dress and i really really like it it's again very different from what i usually wear am i wearing it correctly i think i am 
um so the top is like this section is like twisted and then it's like one shoulder i really like the design of the top but i also like this leather section and i love the fact that it is so like bodycon and like maxi i honestly think i can size down in it because there's a little bit of bunching happening in this area that I think if I size down in it, it will look better. And the top section will look better as well because just a tad bit it is loose here. Like if it was like tight like this, it would have looked better. But the other issue that I think I'll have if I return this one and get a smaller size is that this section will not look nice because I have a bigger hips compared to my um waist and i'm scared that if i do that i remember in the picture this was a little bit more wrinkly it was not as like straight so i am not sure if that's the case or not i have to actually look it up again uh but yeah i think this is what i'll do i'll hold on to this one and i'll order a size 10 and when the size 10 arrives i'll try it on and see which one i like better um because i think this is a very nice dress and it is one of those dresses that you can keep it in your wardrobe year after year. It's not like anything like extra. It's a classic dress with a little bit of a twist with this um, leather. Um, so yeah, even though I do not have any kind of specific event, I think I want to keep this. Um, so I'll order a size 10 and I will let you guys know which size I decided um, to keep at the end I just have to mention that these candles from Target that I got last year They still smell incredible Like I had them on for probably like 30 minutes um, Like as soon as I got home, I turned them on this one and I also have this smaller one um, over there and they smell incredible like they filled this entire room with the most beautiful vanilla warm cozy scent let's open up my hair for now because i do not like driving while i have a clock clip um in my hair we all saw that video on tiktok or on instagram that was not interesting but anyway good morning everyone how are we all doing um let me put in the address of where i am going um it is going to take me exactly 30 minutes to get there and my appointment is exactly in 30 minutes so we do not have time <laughs> to waste even though i woke up early today but i am not sure why am i running slightly late now that we're on the road how are we all doing i have not talked to you guys in probably oh, how many days has it been three four days maybe even longer to be honest with you um, i do not like the angle of this camera let's see if this will be better yeah i think this is better um so yeah i have not talk to you guys in a few days um i think the last time i talked to you guys um when was that i was showing you guys the asos pieces yeah that was like three four days ago um i've been busy with projects to be honest with you like i had a lot of work things to do admin things to do a lot of editing a lot of socializing and all of that so i did not pick up my camera that is my excuse which is an excuse because I should be better at picking up my camera but I don't know how to describe this unless you're a content creator I don't think or maybe you will understand but like sometimes when I am lifing in all the good ways possible I just want to be lifing I such a wrong way of saying things and like I'm obviously not using the correct vocabulary but like, I just want to be in the moment of things, if that makes sense. Actually, hold on a second. Let me play my jazz music because I feel like I need it. I need to have a little bit of a jazz background. I'll try to do better because a day passes by and I had a fantastic day. And I'm like, oh my God, today was a great day to vlog. But I didn't. Um, so 
that's why I just need to be better at it so I do not regret not vlogging. Today, I have a little bit of a busy day. Um, I am going to an appointment right now. After that's like a work meeting. After that, I need to come home and actually plan a dinner party. So I'm having a few of my girlfriends over next week and there's just like a little bit of a process that I usually uh, go through when I'm hosting. I need to decide. I mean, I kind of have an idea about the theme and then um, I have already sent out the invitation. Um, yes, I do things very, very properly and maybe it's not needed to do that when it comes to like just few girlfriends. Um, but I just like to be extra I guess um, so I already sent out the invitation so we already have like a kind of a theme happening I need to plan out my um, flowers like the tablescape and uh, plates that I need to get and all of that I also need to plan out the foods that I'm going to make um, I am not the best chef so I pretty much make like little piggy bits um, I can make a really good pasta but that's about it and since we're having like a fall themed kind of an evening um, I think I want to make soup so um, that's the plan of action I need to just plan out the meals and everything and then um, we are usually when we get together with the girls we kind of like to do an activity we don't like it to be only like talking to each other kind of an evening um so this year since it's fall we decided to do pumpkin painting slash decorating kind of an evening um so i need to buy the items for that so pretty much i need to plan the entire evening from food to the core the plate and everything i need to figure out what i'm going to wear i think we're going to do casual outfits like maybe pjs even um i need to still talk to the girls and see what they will be comfortable with and i've decided to go with like a burgundy theme um i wanted to really badly do a burgundy theme um decor for fall but because the decor for fall is very short-lived for us um i just decided against it because i had to buy everything new and i just thought not this year maybe next year when i start decorating a little bit earlier so i can enjoy the decor we'll do it next year so yeah that is the plan of action for the day um, i'm actually very much looking forward to changing my nail color because i did this neutral color because of my photo shoot um and um i am just i like this color but right now i'm craving dark deep maroon nails so um i am going to um change my nail color and have those dark maroon nails until my next photo shoot because i think i mentioned that my photo shoot is not just one it's the it's like a continuous series so i'll enjoy those nails until my next photo shoot and i'll go back to this color for photo shoot again i just got back from my meeting and um it was a pretty successful one it took a little bit longer than expected um but the important thing is that it was um successful by the way i didn't show you guys my outfit for the day this is a sweater from goelier and i am wearing it with my express jeans and my red belt i'm actually wearing red and black shoes as well and normally i don't wear shoes when i'm home but i do not have that much time um to do the shopping that i want to do and the planning that i want to do um so i'm just like i don't have time to change pretty much so um i'm just quickly going to browse through amazon and order the items that I want to order for my dinner party because I just want to make sure that they're gonna arrive on time um, and I also need to do a food shop um, so I need to um, figure out the recipes and everything that I want to make so I was like I have an hour before my next meeting I'll just spend time doing um, this um, and then I'll go to my meeting and then tomorrow 
um, everything will start arriving and all of that. So pretty much I need to get myself organized. By the way, it's so sunny, but this is the thing about our house during winter. We do not get as much sunlight. We only get sunlight probably like 30 minutes to 40 minutes a day, which is not ideal, obviously. But what I was telling you guys is that my theme is pretty much like I want to do dark, like red, like burgundy colors. But I also want to incorporate some apples, pomegranate and stuff like that. And it's not like one inspo that I want to create, like one picture that I saw and I'm like... I want to exactly create this no it's like different pictures which i'll insert it for you guys on the screen um so i need to order um fake apples um you can use real one as well um which is a possibility but oh, you know what actually i think i want to do real but the pomegranate, I know I need to do a real one. I'll order a fake one as well for just decoration. But the reason that I want to do real is because I want to cut it and have it open. Um, which might be a little bit risky because obviously it might like stain the table. Because I don't think I want to use any table runner. I want to use the greenery that we have on our fireplace. I want to use that. And I also want to make a big bouquet of flower for the centerpiece and I need to order that green sponge because I do have a pretty big vase that I'm going to use uh, but I want the flat centerpiece to be like a little, a little bit wild I don't want it to be too neat I want to use dark colors I want to use like a dark orange towards brown flowers which I have no idea where am I supposed to buy them from i usually buy my flowers either from trader joe's or whole foods i think i need to stop by a flower shop like a couple of days before um my dinner um to grab like few flowers and all of that like flowers that usual stores like grocery stores don't carry pretty much and i also want to use this burgundy um disposable plates that i got and the reason that i'm going with disposable plates is because one it's easy to clean up and two i want them to be burgundy and I'm, we're not gonna use it besides like once or twice a year um so i don't want to invest in buying like expensive burgundy plates so i have two options let me actually show it to you guys so we have this one that is very very cute and it comes with napkin glasses and like utensils i am not going to use the utensils to be honest with you napkins obviously can get a use maybe not at that dinner table but just overall i can get a use and same thing with the cups i don't think i'm going to use the cups for that day but obviously it can be used in the future this is one set and this is another set that i actually like this so much more because the utensil is the same utensil that I usually buy separately. I buy a pack of these. These are my favorite disposable utensils because they have like the vintage look to them. So I can get this, but the thing is that this come um, pre-roll and I'm not going to be using this. So like the napkins, I can't open them because they obviously have will have a shape to them. Um, so I don't know uh, which one I'll go for. Um, this one is a 350 piece. This one, how many piece is this? Mm, let's see. It says for 25 guests. I'm not sure how many pieces would that be. This one, uh, 50 actually. So this one is for 25 guests and this one is for 50 guests. And also, these are the pomegranates that I'm going to get just for decoration. And then I'll also use a real pomegranate. And these are the apples that I'm going to get. How cute are these? They look very, very real. And I love the fact that they come in different sizes. Um, again, I can use real um, apples, but I feel like this will be better pack because it has like small ones, big ones and all of that. Um, so these are the items that I need to order for my table. I also need to buy um, a burgundy... Or should I do beige? Actually, you know what? I'll do my white one. I need um, napkins for the table. I do have a white linen. I think I'm just gonna use that. This setup will look very, very cute for Thanksgiving as well. So uh, I know we still have like a few weeks left until Thanksgiving, but um, 
I think it would be very cute, especially with maroon being the color of the year. I'm going to continue uh, planning my dinner party and like creating maybe like a little bit of a notes app for me because right now I feel like I'm a little bit unorganized. Um, I'm going to just write it step by step. And actually, I think I'm going to do a blog post on it as well um, of how I plan it because I feel like I have a system that works really nicely and it does not overwhelm you and i have like timelines like two weeks prior what do you do a week prior what do you do like and all of that so i think i'm going to write a blog post as well but obviously the blog post will go live um after uh my dinner party so i'll keep you updated on everything in my next video hopefully uh with that being said i'm going to love you and leave you i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye